Go All right, when Lou Chamberlain and Denny Baxter built Fifth Third Ballpark, they hoped fans would come, and they have, 10 million strong. And over 20, their 25 years, one of the things they've consistently done is make improvements to the ballpark. One of those improvements was the old school scoreboard they unveiled in 2012. In this week's installment of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Larry Figurski introduces us to the scoreboard operator. It is the loneliest job at Fifth Third Ballpark. And they said, just give it one game. And as soon as I got out there, it was, I fell in love. It's the best, best spot to watch a game, in my opinion. Yet one in which Jeff Courtright rarely feels alone. I grew up with my grandfather listening to Ernie Harwell. He swings a choppy hit over the mound to Trammell, picks it over the first in time. He had cancer at the time, so I'd come home from school. We'd listen to the ball games on the radio. It is way back. So I really became a fan of the radio calls and of, of baseball in general. So as Jeff changes the number of runs, hits, and errors for the Whitecaps and the score for the Tigers, while watching the Caps and listening to the Tigers, Jones tracking it to the wall. He made the catch! It makes me feel like he's here with me sometimes, which is uh, always nice. And for a baseball purist like Jeff, it is definitely the, one of the best seats in the house to watch the game. The view almost as good as his late grandfather's. It's close to the field, so you get a really good view of the field and the players. You can interact with some of the fans still as an employee, which is good. For Courtright, a chance to be a part of an old tradition from his grandfather's era. It's that old school mentality, that old school philosophy of, of baseball and in its most rudimentary sense. And those few times Jeff does feel alone or gets caught up in thought or memory, someone, perhaps with the help of his grandfather, reminds him he's not. And there was actually a home run ball that hit this plate here and it popped the rivets right on the rail that holds it, knocked the whole plate down right onto the ground. And uh, I was changing the Tiger score, didn't even know the ball was coming at the scoreboard. I almost had to change my pants that night. It, it, <laughs> it was loud, it was, it was obnoxious. A story that certainly would have made Grandpa Ray laugh. Keeping score in Comstock Park, Larry Fikersky, 24-hour news.